Welcome back to another edition of the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're going to do a short review or just a, uh, what I want to call it, a revisit uh, of an old tool that I had, had for a number of years. And uh, I, I did an uh, introduction video on this tool maybe over a year ago, I'm sure. Uh, and just, I'm just bringing it back out and let you guys take a look at it. Those of you who don't know who it, know what it is, and those of you uh, who've never used a tool like this before, uh, maybe you'll get a chance to use one one day. Don't recommend it, but you may have to wind up using it. Well, anyway, this is the Fluke uh, 80K to 40K or 40K, 40 to 80K high voltage probe. Now, I gotta tell you a story about this, this, uh, this tool. I know some of you who used it feel comfortable using it. I don't. And I've been an electrician for a long time, and I don't. The first day, the first time I had to use this tool, I was really working inside of an, uh, uh, a plant at the time, textile plant. And then I was working, uh, I had to use it because I was uh, working at a hospital. But uh, I got to tell you guys, I'm not afraid to tell you that I was scared to death to use this tool. I don't like to deal with high voltage if I don't have to. And uh, I I was skeptical. Uh, you, you know, when you're dealing with uh, voltages in the thousands, you don't want to, I, I, I'm skeptical about that. So, well, anyway, uh, you know, and I don't recommend it. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't, don't mess with this too. Don't be, a, you guys that's coming up in the trade, or any one of you guys, if you uh, don't be afraid, man, to say that you <laughs> that you're afraid that uh, you don't feel comfortable dealing with a certain voltage or doing this or doing that, it's nobody's life on the line but yours. And uh, I've been doing electrical for a long time, and I do feel comfortable with it around certain voltages, but in certain ones I'm not. And I'm gonna tell you if I if I don't. Uh, so the last thing I want to do is, you know, I don't want to kill myself, and you know, even worse, kill myself and kill others. So, but this is a high voltage probe. Uh, you connect it to a multimeter, for example, uh, a multimeter like this. You would, you would, you would put this inside of here, and I don't have the batteries in here at the time uh, right now. But and you would ground, and you was you would ground this right here. Put it on voltage. You would ground this, and you would, of course you would have on all your PPE because remember you're dealing with high voltage. And before you use and before you test use any kind of test instrument, I don't care what it is, and, and it, you know even if it's yours, always check the leads. Always make sure that the leads are okay, that the instrument that you're using is rated for this uh, type of thing. Because um, you just can't use this with any kind of uh, multimeter or clamp meter. No, you have to make sure that the, the instrument you're using is rated for something like this. Uh, I think like 10,000, I, I think. But anyway, you have to make sure it's rated. Look at the, uh, the um, your, 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 your user manual and you see uh, just what it's, uh, what it's rated for. Because you don't, you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna use this thing using the wrong instrument. You're gonna fry, you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna kill yourself. And you, you know, and may even kill others who, who's there with you. So, you know, and please know what you're doing. And uh, I have this thing, and uh, I, if I can avoid can avoid using this, uh, I will. I don't think I'll ever use it again because I don't work in the plants anymore. And uh, the only thing I do is residential and commercial right now, no industrial right now. So I don't think I'll ever use this again. But uh, I'm not looking forward to it either. And so that's that's out of the way. But just want to bring it out. Cause I'm sure some of you guys have have to have your own stories or, you know, about using this tool before, and uh, I, you know, I told you mine. I just don't want to mess with it. So I'm gonna just take it apart. Let you see. Let you guys kind of have an idea of what we're dealing with here. I think this tip comes off right here. All right. I remember taking this off before. I remember taking this to loose. Hold on one second. Now. I remember taking it to loose. But again, like I said, if you don't feel comfortable with this, man, don't you know, don't do it. Yeah. 
That's what's in the inside of it. I don't think this comes out. Let me see. Um, I can't remember how, and I don't want to damage it because it's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, um, not brand new, but it's, it's, it's very good condition. But even if you had to use a tool like this, you, you know, go through it, check it, and see if all and nothing is broken, and see, you know, and you make sure that this tool is working properly, and make sure that you have on a proper PPE too, and you make sure this thing have a good ground, and like I said, the instrument that you're testing using to be a test instrument that is a good, um, it's 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 um, it's rated for this type of tool. So, uh, but this is a high voltage probe. It go up to eighty thousand volts. Uh, from 40 to 80,000 votes. Uh, you know, uh, this is, <laughs> it's nice. This is for, this is a fluke. They make set, they have several companies out there that make them. I don't know if they're rebrands from fluke, but I've, uh, I've seen a few that look the same like this, uh, you know, but, and they're by other companies. And, but fluke was a reputable company, as we all know. So I felt comfortable uh, getting their brand, the one by fluke. Uh, I didn't want to go get no no, no off-brand that nobody ever heard of or no rebranded one from some other odd company and um, use it. So I bought the flute. I can't remember what I paid for it. Uh, it wasn't cheap at all. But uh, in the time when I did use it, again, I, you know, I repeat, I was scared to death. And But it did work. It did work. And I, I just don't like doing it. So... Uh, anyway, this is the, so you have a nice long cable on it, and, uh, let me see, and if I had to use this again, like I said, I would go through it with a fine tooth comb to make sure that none of these wires are broken, especially this ground wire not broken, uh, cause the last thing you need is an arc flash coming from high voltage. I mean, you know, all that metal, all that, oh my goodness, it's j just think about it. But anyway, uh, here we go. This is what you got. You got to connect the cable with the ground, make sure you have that properly connected. It says it says ground on this side, so, you know, most people will look at it with this, this cord on the top and figure it goes like that. No, this ground, where I say ground is here for a reason. So you turn it upside down like this, and you want to put it in the right way. And again, like I told you, you find you a good ground, uh, hopefully on that machine or a good ground for sure. And you, you can test it, put it on the boats and you know, you can test it. So guys, again, uh, I just want to pull this out and let you guys uh, bring back some memories for some of y'all, you know, who may have had one of these or used one of these before. Um, so, uh, leave a comment, tell me your story, tell me your experience about it, which you, uh, you know, <laughs> how, how you felt when you first had to use one of these, or, you know, if you feel comfortable, if you would feel comfortable using one of these, or, you know, just, just leave a comment and, uh, uh, hit that like button guys. Again, if you haven't or you know, haven't already, uh, for you guys who are new to the channel, if you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to build the, uh, the channel up. And with that being said, uh, I'll give you guys one more look at it. And I'm going and I'm to hope you can see that. You can see that. Okay. Guys, you take care. And uh, peace out.